everybody. It's Tyler here at the Las Vegas Regional checking in team number 498. Cobra Commanders, one of my favorite names, uh, by the way, for a team. That's pretty awesome. Coming in out of Arizona. Uh, this team here, uh, regional finalists just a couple weeks ago, and they have a Chairman's Award underneath their belt, so they're already qualified for World Championships. Uh, but talk more about this robot. I have Will and Caleb. And uh, this machine here, very uh, compact, very efficient, and, and pretty darn good looking too. But uh, I really want you to focus on this indexer shooters who come out here. Uh, they've done some additions to their climbers as well too. So let's learn more about this robot coming up on Behind the Bumpers. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, supported by Stryker Careers. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many first alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. If you are planning on attending the World Championship, come meet others in the fun and FRC Discord community with our combined meetup on Friday, April 22nd at 11 a.m. local. Location will be announced closer to the event, and you can stay updated by following in either the fun or FRC Discord. Well, we're going to start off on your robot on that cargo journey. Talk to me about your uh, your intake. You got a, a really slick looking intake here. So tell me about uh, what's gone into it. Any iterations throughout the competition season as well? Uh, so we have a uh, four bar intake with, run by two Neos or two Falcons, I'm sorry, at the bottom. Uh, so and then we have three rollers. We decided on using the gr uh, green compliance wheels uh, for better grip. We originally had uh, four inch compliant wheels on there. And that didn't work because uh, they were too big for it. We then tried doing uh, rollers, and then we didn't work, so we tried switch back to the compliant with the smaller ones. We had a couple of iterations where we went through only having two uh, two like uh, bars to intake instead of having the three in total. We um, ended up going with the three for the better, uh, having it better for coming in and out. Uh, we also have these little things on the inside that we th custom 3D printed so the ball could easily come into the, like guiding into the um, hopper mechanism. And then um, we, have, we decided to use chains and belt and it's run by two Neo 550s. When you're looking at uh, making your intake for it, uh, what, from a decision process standpoint, you went with an over bumper and then uh, from like a compliant versus a rigid intake, how did you come up with a decision to go with the one that you have? Uh, we tried pneumatics originally, and it didn't, we learned, like, we realized it was a little more complicated than we needed it to be, and it wasn't as functional, and it, it made it so we couldn't do our quick cycles that we were able to do now, so we just switched over to the four bar. Makes sense. So, yeah, let's run through your uh, indexing system here. You got this interesting, it's almost like a, a I'm going to call it a snake curve. I don't know if you have a name for it or not, but uh, we've seen like S curves in, in teams before. This seems well, to be a, just a little bit different. Commanders for a reason. I love it, man. So tell me more about what's gone into it. Uh, so the, the, um, they're run by two Neo, uh, Neos. Uh, the first Neo runs these two rollers and the second one runs the top roller. We have, and we used uh, some Lexan for the back of it. We decide to, the reason why we have them on separate, like it's not all belted together, is we wanted to be able to intake and it stop right before the flywheel. So when it stops before the flywheel, it no, like the two balls will fit in there perfectly. And then we have these little things, the little snakes as you call them on the side. And we use that to center the ball, help center the balls for more consistency when we start shooting. So let's go next into your uh, your shooter that you have, the flywheel they have for that. Uh, Kale's going to talk a little bit more about what's gone into it. Uh, it's, you know, the, the width of your shooter you have almost reminds me of some of the double shooters I've seen out there before, but because you got a lot of different flywheels going across. Uh, so talk to me about from a delivery standpoint, and then, uh, like, where do you tend to shoot from the field, and how did you uh, try to figure out, like, backspin, that sort of thing? Yeah, so we decided to go with a single flywheel rather than a double, mostly just for space reasons, when we knew it was easier to do. And we're using four inch stealth wheels for that. Uh, mostly just for more mass, but originally we had a, a full roll of rollers so that we could shoot from anywhere along the robot. So before we added these guides to center the ball, we were hoping to just shoot from anywhere along this system. That didn't, uh, that didn't go very well in our first regional, so we ended up changing that, but we kept the wheels for, uh, along the flywheel for the mass. 
Yeah, and you guys, uh, you had a pretty dramatic improvement, I would say, between your first and second event. Would you say that uh, the shooter was really the big thing for that? Yeah, yeah. So in our first event, we were having problems with, along the back, we used to have this polycarb come all the way up, but we were having problems with slippage and just consistency along the edge, because we'd get more compression along the edges than in the middle. We ended up changing that recently to these bars with a sheet of perforated polycarb uh, along the back here. Speaking about changes, uh, you've made some changes to your climber as well too. Let's start to wrap up in your robot and talk about uh, your climber and uh, tell me about the changes you made and then let's do a little uh, demonstration of your climb sequence. Yeah, so our original plan was just to climb low or mid rung and for a, so we've done that for our last two regionals and they it went really well. Very consistent climbs and then for this regional we added a high climb sequence. So before we just had these Andy Mark climber in a boxes and then we put on this mechanism with pneumatics and a hook. So let's see it deploy and then if you can walk me through like uh, as it's going from like mid to high rung, like tell me when, what happens when sort of thing. Yeah. So when we go for the high rung, we'll go, we'll line up to these back, the back side of these hooks and then latch on. The climber will, it'll pull itself up when we bring the climber down. Then we can deploy these hooks onto the high bar. Then we just extend these and we swing, swing down. Well, Cobra Commanders, uh, continue improvement has been happening, so we wish you uh, best of luck coming here at the Las Vegas Regional. And, uh, good luck through the rest of the season. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks to Striker Careers for their support in this video. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many first alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.